Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. So this will be part two of the Barker's Berry uh, pickup thing that I've uh, put in my uh, Brian May Rhapsody Acoustic. Um, not happy with it so far, um, so I'm going to try something else and see if it can be better. Um, but it does bring up the question, because something's vintage and old, does it mean it's better? This is the pickup in question. It's a Barkus Berry, uh, Chris Whiteley style magnetic pickup from back in the 80s, I think, it might be even 70s. Um, uh, selling, they're selling for whopping amounts of money, like 300 to 500 pounds second hand. Um, and I acquired this one and I put it in my uh, Brian May Rhapsody acoustic and blended it with the Piazzo that's in the acoustic. And it's okay, I don't like it. So I'm going to try something else before I abandon this all together. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, disconnect the Piazzo that's in there because I just don't like it anyway. And I'm just gonna wire the Barkus Berry in, hopefully into the EQ system on the guitar. And and then, and I'm gonna try and move it as well from the, the bridge position to the neck position. Not quite sure how I'm gonna do that yet um, because I think that'll be a warmer sound anyway. I'm gonna give that a sound test and then see how that goes. Um, if it doesn't work, or I don't get the sound I want. It will work, but I just, it's about getting the sound I want. Um, I may try putting it into my Telecaster. Hmm. I've disconnected the Piazzo completely. Uh, it's just a B-band little thing, which I hate. Um, so now when I wire this in, that's not gonna be in the circuitry at all, obviously. So I'm just checking all my wires and stuff. On there, that's fine. Um, so now I can just wire it up, see what happens. All right, so I've managed to wire up the Barkus Berry without the Piazzo. Uh, I can't get the EQ system to work, unfortunately, but I do have volume on the guitar, which is a bonus. But as long as that gives a true sound then I've got EQ on the amp anyway, so I might be able to live with it. But the only way to find out is to go and try it out. So I'm going to put it all back together. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to put the pickup here rather than there. Um, but there's nowhere to mount it. But I do have this old uh, cavity cover thing, um, which I could stick into there like that and then mount the pickup with sticky pads onto there. So I'm going to give that a go, see if that works. I'm going to use sticky pads and not glue or screws because I don't want to be doing anything silly like that. So I've literally stuck two sticky pads on and then hopefully that will stick in there and then we can stick the pickup down. These are tricky. Um, these pads is they're not very sticky at first and then you leave it on there for a day or two and they get they stick really well Can't run the light of that try and get this straight as I can is that straight not enough <laughs> and then the pickup hopefully I get a pad, take that one off. I put one in the middle or two in the middle. Just one for now. Sort of. There maybe. Oop. I might have to put one on top of each other. I need one on top of it as well, so. It's going to tilt back a little bit. So maybe if I put another one on top of that one, like that. Ooh, that could be just the ticket. That's in. Just as long as that stays there. <laughs> I 
only time will tell. And then I can get the cable out of the way. Mmm, we'll see how that goes. Right then, so here it is, installed. It's got a little bit of a hum, but I could sort that out if I wanted to. Um, so I'm just going to do some some uh, sounds through the uh, DAW, no effects, flat EQ, so you can hear the difference. If you want to compare it to the first video, then click the link in the description for the first video. Okay. So, so far I can tell this isn't going to work. This this pickup is not going to work how I want it to, so I'm not going to go any further with it. I'm going to take it back out and I'm probably just going to stick with my Harley Benton uh, sound hole pickup, which is great on its own. Um, but I am going to try one more thing and I'm going to put this Barker's Berry pickup into my Telecaster. And let's see what that's like. Here we go, my HB Telecaster on the bench. You can see a review of this guitar now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just whip these strings off. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna wire it into the that position, take that pickup out. I wanna get rid of, probably wanna change this pickup anyway. So I'm gonna put this in and see here what it's like. Because I've got a feeling that this is gonna be more suited to an electric sound than the acoustic sound. So obviously this was a soulless kit, so that's the pickup there. That's the one, <clears throat> pardon me, is there. So earth is going to the corner of the switch and the positive is going to there. So I just need to either disconnect that completely, which is probably what I should do, and then just solder that one in. Yeah, I'll do that. So this is gonna be quite easy. What I've done is I've put the uh, Barker's Berry on there. I'm just gonna stick it on with some sticky pads and I've fed the uh, cable through the old screw hole. So that should line up bang on like that and then we'll just wire it in, job done.
so there you go. I think I found a use for it. Um, it works really nice in the Telecaster. It's got a nice, like, kind of glassy, crystally kind of tone to it. I really like it around the uh, you know tenth to twelfth, fourteenth frets. It's really nice and <clears throat> I really dig it. Um, I'm going to play with it some more before I make it a permanent feature. But it, yeah, the question still remains. Just because something's vintage and expensive doesn't mean it's better. Mm, no, definitely not because this is old technology. Now the new technology is a lot cheaper and better anyway but it all depends on whether you like it or not and personally i would not have gone out and bought something like that because it's a lot of money um and for three i think 300 to 500 they go for say say it's worth 300 i could get a couple of harley bentons for that um which i'd be happy with um but as i was given it as a gift um i thought i might as well try and use it in as many things as i possibly could and I think it sits here quite nicely. And I'm, again, because of where it came from and uh, in keeping uh, my friend's memory alive, when I play his guitar now, I will, I will think of him as I do with the Brian May acoustic. So I'm going to keep this in here for a little while. It is a little bit wobbly because it's on a pad and it's a tiny bit too high. So I might try some um, double-sided sellotape instead to stick it down, which will bring it down a couple of mil and then stop it wobbling about. Um, and it does kind of come loose and the, the, the low E hits it a little bit. So I would probably do that. I'll take it to a band rehearsal. I'm going to play with it for a little bit in a minute through my guitar rig and stuff. And, and But I think I actually quite like it. So it may stay. So if you do like these videos, then please like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out in a big way. Let me know what you think about the Barker's Berry pickup down in the comments. Uh, let me know if you've got one of these uh, or something similar. And um, what's your thoughts on uh, vintage gear uh, against modern gear? Is it worth buying vintage gear, which is really expensive just because it's rare? You tell me. Anyway, only one thing left to say, and that is peace. Till next time. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. <laughs> Peace. Till next time.